Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the advanced options menu brought to us by developer CompCom of Team The Other Guys and Hackchi Resources. So if you haven't already installed the option menu, why not? Just kidding. That means this video will be useful to you and I will explain everything that the option menu provides for you when using it on your SNS Classic. So the first thing you need to do is mod your SNS Classic so you can install this. To do that, you can use the easy installer and when you go through the steps, you'll have the options to also install the options menu. If you don't want to go that route, you can go to HackGResources.com, open up your HackG program, go to modules, install modules. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to the folder that you downloaded your Options Deluxe HMOD to. You're going to take this HMOD, drag it into this window right here, and you see how there's like a little plus sign next to my mouse? That means it's going to be added as soon as I let go of the mouse. We've already added it here, so we're going to forget that step. But once it's added to the list here, make sure you have the box check next to it. Let's take a look at the README so we can see what is the Options menu. The options menu is a custom menu that can be launched by holding controller button combo L and R for more than one second at any point during the console's operation. That button combination can be changed, we'll go over that later. The current features provided by the options menu include the HMOD uninstaller, Hibernate mod, RetroArch settings management. For full documentation for the options menu, you can click this link right here. We'll go over all that later once we get into our system. And then we have the contributions and things. So once you have the options menu over here, you've checked your box. Last thing to do is hit this OK button down at the bottom. A little bar will appear. It'll fill in green. It's probably going to take a split second. You may not even see it. You'll get a done message. Once that message appears, it means the options menu is installed and it's ready to be used. So let's head over to our SNES Classic and take a look at the options menu. All right, so here we are in our SNES Classic, and what happens when we hold down the L and R buttons? But we get the options menu, awesome. So let's go step by step, each one of these options, what are we looking at? Hibernate and Standby. If we open that up, we get this cool power menu with Mario taking a snooze. So here you have the option to put your SNES Classic into Hibernate mode, Standby mode, or you can cancel out. Each with their respective button right there, and I thought that was a nice touch adding both colored buttons for either the European, Japanese, or American version. Good attention to detail there. So let's read about Hibernate and Standby. This option launches Swing Flip's power menu. The power menu will provide the following options. Hibernate will put the console in a low power state, turn the screen off, and when woken up, the console will resume whatever you were doing before you put the console in Hibernate. So say you paused the game, opened up the power menu, went on Hibernate, left went, did whatever, came back, and woke it back up, you'll be back in that game. Standby will put the console in lowest power state possible, turn the screen off, and when woken up, the console will reboot and start the console from a fresh boot. So standby means you go into the option, go to standby, leave, come back, and you start it back up, it means it'll reboot into the main SNES menu. So that's cool. And it, we have the button combinations over there, L, R, and up. We'll resume the console in hibernate mode, and in standby mode, it'll reboot the console. So when you come back, you hold L, R, and up. That's how you get your console back on. Now, if you're in hibernate mode, you come back, you hold L, R, and down, it'll reboot the console. If you're in standby mode, it'll shut it down completely. So very, very useful stuff right there. All right, so our next option is shut down device. This turns off the SNES Classic. That's pretty self-explanatory. Reboot device, this will restart the SNES Classic to the SNES menu. You have RetroArch options in here. Let's go in there, take a look. So I was told that right now there's a little bit of bug with the RetroArch options, so it's best to not touch any of these options. Um, CompCom said an update is coming out soon, and when that comes out, you should really upgrade to the new one because you're gonna have a bunch of cool RetroArch options. Um, like restoring default settings and things like that, backing up your saves to NAND. So as of right now, don't mess with that until the new options menu is released. I'll make sure and put out a real quick video. Hey, new options menu is out. I'll do that for you guys so you know when it's out. What you can select though right here, if you don't like the loading screens for whatever reason, um, when you go to like select the game, you'll have like the Nintendo loaded screen or loading RetroArch or whatever like that. If you want to turn that off, or turn it back on, you select this option right here, toggle RA and canoe load screens. If we hit it, we get this little thing right here, toggling retroarch and canoe loading screen. 
it'll tell you right here disabled or enabled so either way is fine for me we're going to re-enable re them there we go so let's go back so our last option is advanced options also i want to show you something real quick it might not happen while i'm doing this every once in a while you see the screen flicker and show like this nest background that's because this option menu is being displayed in front of the SNES menu not on a separate screen or anything like that so you might see some flickering that's completely normal advanced options module uninstaller this does exactly what you think it would do you can go in here see all your displayed installed modules you select them if you let's see I don't think I have anything special right now to uninstall but say you wanted to take off font fix for whatever reason you just hit the A button and the module will be moved over to the modules to uninstall. So we hit A on a bunch of these. Then we hit start. Upon hitting start, it's gonna remove all those modules. We're not gonna do that, because I like my modules. I wanna keep them on there. But you hit start to exit out. It's that easy. The display temperature option displays your console's temperature. So okay. Run top. Let's read about Runtop. This option runs and displays the output of the top binary. This shows the current CPU, memory usage, and list of running processes. Cool! If you want to see a bunch of fancy gibberish, hit the benchmark tool and you're greeted with a cool star and then some other information here that I don't really know what it does. It looks like it talks about your memory, um, but it ran successfully, so that's cool. You may, yeah. Change options button combo. This is what I was talking about. If you don't want LNR as your button combo, which I can understand there's a lot of games that you would have to hold LNR to get things done on it and you don't want to accidentally open up the options menu while you're playing. This is the option that you're going to want to use. So we will now set your options menu combo buttons. You will need to press the three buttons you want the options menu set to. For a two button combo, just repeat the second button. So say I want to keep it at LNR for whatever reason. I would hit L and then R twice. It says your chosen options menu combo is LRR. If this is correct, press A. If not, press any other button to try again. I'm gonna change mine to X, B, and down because I don't think there's any reason for me to hit any three of those buttons together while I'm playing a game. So that is correct, I'm gonna hit A. Okay, please reboot to take effect. So you would have to actually restart your system and upon restarting it, your new button combination will be working. So the clear cache option, this option will force the kernel to clear the page cache and free up unused memory. You should not need to call this as the system should manage memory fine on its own. So there's really not any reason to use the clear cache option. And that is it. That is the options menu deluxe brought to you once again by CompCom, Swing Flip, um, and there's some other people that were involved with the testing. So if again, if you haven't installed this, do yourself a favor, install it now. When a new one comes out, make sure you update to that new one. So that's it. I want to thank everybody over at the Hatchy Resources website, um, the Discord for being super helpful and releasing these awesome, awesome mods for your SNES Classic. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.